Welcome to the tallest building in Japan, the Tokyo Sky Tree. At a height of 634 meters, this is the third tallest structure in the world and also home to the world's second highest restaurant, Sky Restaurant 634. Located on the same level as the observation deck, this restaurant boasts incredible panoramic views of the world's largest city. We had the pleasure of dining in their only private teppanyaki room, overlooking the Tokyo Bay. This was by far the best view we had ever had at any restaurant. We started off with some drinks, including a classic Japanese Asahi beer. Our chef was only in his early 20s, but had learned to cook at one of France's top culinary schools. To start, he prepared us a small plate consisting of a few nibbles, including an ice cream with caviar dish, which was very unique. After this, we were treated to our fish dish, which was presented beautifully and also happened to be one of my favorites. For the chef's special today, we were served these delicious fried fish cakes, which went really well with the dressing provided. Following this, it was time for our chef to begin preparing our Wagyu steaks. These were some of the highest quality steaks, even for Wagyu, that we had seen and it made sense seeing as we were in Japan. While cooking the steaks, we were also treated to our next meal, which was the lobster from Brittany served with truffle dressing. This was probably the dish with the best presentation, and trust me when I say, it tasted as good as it looked. With that out of the way, we finally moved on to these Wagyu steaks. We were given an assortment of traditional Japanese herbs and spices such as wasabi and horseradish to go along with it. The steak also came with a few seasonal vegetables which worked perfectly to complement it. Finally, the steak was done and frankly it was probably the best Wagyu steak that we had ever had. For our last savory dish, we were treated to a miso soup followed by fried rice. I mean, after all, what is teppanyaki without some good old fried rice? To conclude our dinner, they presented us with our dessert. The first dessert course was this ice cake served with strawberry and jelly made to look like it had fallen out of the glass. The second course, meanwhile, was an assortment of small Japanese and international desserts. This was also accompanied by a choice of tea or coffee, where I opted to go for a hot green tea. If you enjoyed this dining video, please make sure to subscribe to see more.